Hey everybody, what's up? It's John, aka Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana, and more music and moreguitars.com. And today we're checking out kind of a telly, and sort of in a way, right? It's telly shaped. This is the Acoustasonic, it's hard for me to say that, Acoustasonic player, Acoustasonic, Acoustasonic telly. <laughs> it's like Acoustasonic, Acoustasonic, Acoustasonic. I, it sounds like something like from a Disney movie, Acoustasonic, what? Okay, the Acoustasonic. <laughs> Hard to say, easy to play. <laughs> the telly version. So uh, now if you've been living under a rock and you've never seen one of these, it's basically, it's a floor wax and it's an ice cream topper. I mean to say, uh, you can get your acoustic sounds and you can also get your electric sounds from one guitar. So for a lot of people, this is a problem solver, especially if you don't have room to bring multiple guitars, you know, or if you're mostly playing one or the other and you don't really want to bring just one, ele one electric guitar for one song or you don't want to bring just one uh, acoustic for just one acoustic song, you know. Um, and we'll go through all everything that you know, comes with it. And I will point out that we're coming through, running through this small Fishman amp. So you can see it's a guitar that is telly shaped um, and also has a sound hole in it. And I, I wondered about this and yes, you can. You could still drop a pick down here. I mean, you'd have to almost kind of try. I don't know, I th maybe you can take the back off if you dropped a pick in here. I don't know. If anybody has one of these, and you've dropped a pick in here, please comment. Like, leave something in the comments because I'm kind of dying to know. Um, I have certain students that if it can be done, they would do it, and then we would spend the next 20 minutes trying to get the pick out of their guitar. Anyways, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the Acoustasonic. I said it pretty good that time. All right, basically, you get acoustic sounds and you get electric sounds. And the way this works is with the combination of your, what would normally be a tone control and a three-way selector switch. Now, it does have kind of a tele pickup here. It also has an under saddle pickup. So a Fishman, right? Fishman under here? Yep, that's right, Fishman under there. And, oh, um, solid sp spruce Sitka top. I said that right too, I think. And mahogany back and sides, you know. So if you're one, if you're an acoustic guy and want to know all that stuff, there it is. Honestly, you're gonna be getting most of your sounds from the electronics. Um, in the room, I have the volume down. It's about the same volume as like a, like a 335 or a, you know, a semi hollow body electric guitar. You're not gonna be going to you know, blues jam, or sorry, bluegrass jams and keeping up with the, those old Canon Martins and everything. But if you're plugging in, this could be just the thing for you. So we're going to start with the acoustic sounds. And let's see, right now, this is like a small body acoustic, kind of that parlor. And then when you do this, with it looks like a tone control, it's not. It kind of magically turns it into a dreadnought. Small body parlor. A dreadnought. All right, now let's go to the middle position. So in the middle position, this is called the lo-fi settings. So. I guess to get a lo-fi type of sound. <laughs> so this would be like the clean, what they call the clean lo-fi setting. And then as we turn this, it's kind of a crunchy lo-fi setting. You can kind of hear it, it's breaking up a little bit. clean to the crunchy all right 
Now we go to the actual pickup. <clears throat> so with what feels like the tone, it's not a tone control, just so you know. <laughs> what, what looks like would be a tone control pulled all the way back, you're getting kind of more of a classic telly. <laughs> Still feels like an acoustic, just so you know. And then we roll it the other way and it's a fat telly. And of course, let's do this. Acoustic, electric, acoustic, electric. <laughs> it's magic, is what I'm saying, it's magic. How do they do it? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know. I would be scared to even look to see how they do it because I think it would probably frighten me. <laughs> so it's cool, right? I mean, this is definitely marketed for the person that needs to kind of cover both sounds, kind of both you know, kinds of guitars, electric and acoustic, but doesn't really have the ability to drag both out or the desire. So I will say this, just so you know, if you've never played one before, playing wise, it feels more like an acoustic to me because it comes with a wound third string. And you know, these, are, these look to be uh, probably bronze so they're, they're acoustic strings. You know, I would think that if you want it to sound a little bit more electric than acoustic, maybe slap on some, you know, some nickel or nickel plated strings with an unwound third, and you'll probably be a little bit closer into telly land than acoustic land. So, but it's pretty cool. This is one of those things, it's really hard to demo online. You really have to come in and play one for yourself to check it out, see if it's something that you're into. It is a very light. Like it's so light that almost like, uh, well, we just shot a video with a more of a classic telly um, and they, those can have some weight. And I picked this up thinking to, I was going to get the same weight. And it's actually very light. You know, this is something you could wear. You would not even hardly notice you're wearing it throughout the night. That's how light it is. So, and it's sharp looking, you know, I like the contrast and the mahogany, you know, and the spruce sitka on top and all that. So it's pretty cool. If you have any questions about this guitar or anything else that you've seen us talk about, uh, you can call down here, talk to one of our fantastic sales associates, or you can get a hold of us online at moreguitars.com, or you can ask some questions in the comments section and we'll try to get to you. Um, and uh, oh, also, you know what? We never talk about this. If you've got one of these, Post your experiences. Let other people know what you think of yours and how you use it. You know, I mean, we should be trying to do that more as a community, you know, share our knowledge. Um, I have, as you can tell, very little knowledge of this, so I'm sure that I can learn a lot from all of you that have owned one of these for a while. Anyways, well, I appreciate you hanging out with us and watching the video. My name's John. You can call me Smelly. You can't smell me, but you can call me Smelly. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.